Hey guys, welcome. If this is your first time here, this is Moments with Mo. And today I have a special guest with me, okay? This is my godmother, okay? Ia Kai Oshun, okay? And to give you a little background, okay? She is a elder and a priest, high priestess, okay? And she has influence in the, in the tradition of Ipa, okay? And I F A, you could go look it up, or E I, you could give a little if you want to give a little. You want to look up I F A, Ifa, the tradition of Ifa, or Yoruba and its people. Okay, mm -hmm. and yeah, we're gonna unpack some things. She has influenced my life in such an amazing. I love, I love her dearly. Spot you guys me. just don't. Okay, and today we're going to talk about sacrifice, okay, and Spirit was like, I shared this with her, and I really felt like, I wanted to already shoot this video, but I was just like, Spirit is like, no, y'all need to kind of do this together, so we're here, darling, right now, in this present moment, with, with y'all, which are okay in and, prime too i just wasn't on my schedule yeah so but this is how they've been rolling of late though mm -hmm. and if you've been keeping up with moments with mo for a little bit the the topic has been surrender so we have a a thought of how it should be unfolding and spirit is saying no this is how it's unfolding and it's in alignment with everything that you desire so are you gonna be resistant or are you gonna go with the fluff that part so how do how does sacrifice play into the unfolding of you know your people's destiny their uh, being in alignment like so the best way that I the simplest way that I can put that for anybody in terms of sacrifice is that take a seed or an acorn mm -hmm. and how it has it falls from a tree and it has to be planted in the ground mm -hmm. in order for it to become that large tree mm -hmm. it has to give the sacrifice up of being an acorn mm. which means that it has mm. to grow now right right coming up through you have to leave the comfort zone of what it is that's, that's familiar mm -hmm. you know and go beyond your own immediate perception about how things should go and trust the, the process mm -hmm. of the decision that you made to be incarnated mm -hmm. you know trust that process does that make sense it does okay. it does and when i when i think of sacrifice right or what i was it's going to cause something exactly and i think that's the concept that spirit really wants people to understand and overstand is that it's gonna cost your like time, it's uh, about m money, resource. It's gonna give you that, and that's the sacrifice. Cause you might not have necessarily who you have it, but are you willing to give it, give it to this in order to achieve, you know, a bigger goal? Right. It, it yeah, that's the law of the universe. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's about the balance, you know, of it and how much you're willing to pay, mm -hmm. you know? Because I think a lot of people, they want the big house. Y'all want the mansions. Y'all want the yachts. You want, you know, private jet. And you get what I'm saying? But then you don't want to do, you don't want to do nothing for your business. You don't want to. Put yourself, you don't want to tap into that energy. That's you don't want to do the next step. You. An illusion and a highly weird. Shut the damn TV off and stop. Excuse, stop mind fucking yourself when you're thinking that that's going to happen. <laughs> it's just not. It's, yeah. It's just not. You know, for, you got to be in alignment with what it is and where it is you're going. It's just like going through. And being in alignment school. is doing the that's doing the, doing the, the work. work like doing the work you gotta do the work you like gotta you gotta actually yeah like you gotta participate. and you have so many beings that dwell within your this vessel that 
you're asking for things and they're going and if they see that you're not willing to put the effort in you get what I'm like yeah, what, it's like the universe is is has a banking system and you have to put a deposit in there of your mm-hmm. own effort in order to build build merit so mm-hmm. that it'll manifest for you on on another way and you know just the whole understanding of, of sacrifice mm-hmm. and moving to the next level of things you know there are lessons that come along the way mm-hmm. but you have to look at uh, you have to look at things like through the point of view of nature mm-hmm. you really do because that's where it starts right you know and mm-hmm. just seeing where you are on the food chain if you're on the food chain <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> learn mm-hmm. to minimize your gent your damage mm-hmm. so you got to look at it through nature's eyes, you know, and the the flower sacrifices its seeds and its petals mm-hmm. in order for there to be a summer blossom. Mm-hmm. You know, each season sacrifices and submits to the next one coming in. Oh my God. And it did, did y'all hear that? There's nothing stopping that. There's nothing stopping that. Woo. So that means you got to get in rhythm, live by the rhythm, love by the rhythm, you know, I and say. understand where the, where the sacrifice comes in. Right. And that when you stop looking at it, when you look at it, at it from a point of view of it being a loss, mm-hmm. that's the ego talking. Mm-hmm. Or, you know, source, whatever it is you choose to call it, whatever flavor, ice cream. Whatever it is you choose to call it until you get comfortable on whatever your path is, mm-hmm. you know, um, that's the ego, easing God out, easing Ifa out, easing mm-hmm. Arumula out, easing mm-hmm. the vibration and not being in alignment with your own source mm-hmm. is when you think that there's going to be a loss because you need to give this up as opposed right, to right, right, understanding right. that this is about expansion. You go deeper and then you come up and you go wide. Mm. So I think that that the, I, yeah, the people really need to go deep, deep to come up. You know, you can't start at the top, you know, and be a bobblehead. That 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 doesn't look good. And and our people have a tendency of doing that, fizzling out very 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 quickly, when everybody is jealous of us, and we don't even we they people. Love what you have, but they hate you having it. And that's some deep yeah. shit. So 18 and up. Okay, so, okay. so <laughs> even with that, you know, we walk down the street and we don't even acknowledge one another. I I think about that so much. I'm like, it's it's okay. it's weird to be someone who wants to make eye contact or agree or say, right. you know, and that has to change. And it really ch- like Guys, I know if you are here at this channel, you are the change, okay? And spirit has been unfolding to me as well. Things that I found myself growing up hearing, mm-hmm. now they're just hitting totally different. Because, right. again, just, uh, oh my God, why did this slip on my head? <laughs> because I asked you, you know how I, I know, yeah, that's just <laughs> literally <laughs> said, it was on some Harry Potter, you know, with the one. <laughs> With the wine, he was taking it. Okay. Um, But um, just like be careful what you ask for. Just simple things like that. Be careful what you ask for. Or, um, you know. It's the intent of the uh, prayer. Words are prayers. Our doors that come out of our mouth. And all too often, we all try to see who can say the lowest things, the quickest, the sharpest. And understanding that that has vibration. Right, that and it only gets you so far. It only gets you so far. Again, you know the ego, and it's still and it's still in an illusion. Yeah, it's still the illusion. So, the sacrifice of the ego and the reward, and if you have to look at it in terms of the reward and gaining something, mm-hmm. as opposed to sacrifice, and that's a lower vibration. Mm-hmm. But the gaining of the dance of intimacy with the self. Mm-hmm. Is what you get when you leave the ego behind on mm-hmm. every level through everything you do. Right. You know, and you offer your actions and your thoughts to God. 
-hmm. Everything, the smallest thing, mm -hmm. putting out the trash, you know, you're, you're offering. That's your deposit. Mm -hmm. That's your deposit into the universe, and you'll find it starts coming back to you, mm -hmm. you know. Um, but be conscious about what and how you sacrifice your time. You know, that's the one thing you never get back, and it's the most valuable thing that's on the planet is the individual's time. Don't let anybody and, else tell you Okay, that. don't be fooled. And I literally just said this, I think, yesterday or today. Because mm -hmm. time is an illusion, I swear. I thought it was Friday a day ago. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, I don't know where I, I be. Whoo. But, um, <laughs> see, I just, I, 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 be, I be doing too much and I just be. Time, you know, you don't. <laughs> it just be getting taken from, oh, I was saying that <sighs> you, you don't have to do nothing out of obligation. Like. You don't have to go to work. You do choose to go to work, okay? There's a choice there. There's that free will. And I think I want people to, you know, you got to not be impulsive and do things from a, you know, you, you dissect and see what works for you and why it works. And But when you're getting that inspiration and realizing that these corporations, you're a number. And you heard Plus. it here first. Trust, you already know. You, you a number. You so live, live, um, and enjoy, and know that there is no obligation that you have to. No, having to versus you know being in a space of I choose. Well, now here's the thing. Because things are stepping stool. It's a stepping stool. And that's where you got to analyze everything. I feel like you got to analyze, but you still, if you're, if you've been doing the work in building, and I think I, I, what I want to say and clarify is that a lot of people, we be staying in places longer than what we should. And then we, we miss, you get what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. we stay in relationships longer than we should. We stay in situationships longer than we should. And we have these contracts with these jobs literally <laughs> and that it's like sometimes it's like this was just for you to you was wanting to build more sh confidence and now you got you manifested a job that required you to, to be more courageous because you had to take a chance with doing the work and you had to put your like there's whatever you got from it mm -hmm. you know but sometimes the system that's been created the programming it's out of order. Yeah, and, it's really disrespectful because you know, it keeps people wanting to stay somewhere longer than what they should. These companies don't care. So well, you're either a slave to, you're either building your own or you're working for somebody. That's it. And it's plain and simple. You either are working for somebody else and that's not a bad thing. I'm not some people, everybody's not meant to be entrepreneurs. Everybody's not. And some people are meant to, you know, they do them jobs and no shake to nobody. But again, you're either in control of your own time, not having to request time. Like if I choose to not want to come in, I should be able to choose to not come in and I have to like the, the system has to change. Okay. That's where I'm at with it. My spirit, me and God say, it got to go. It got to change. Something got to give. I understand. <laughs> you have to weigh your own reality, but. Mm -hmm. Way your reality. Yours. 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 And your I was talking reality. about this at work today. Sometimes you take on other people's realities. This is this re is going. I don't. I don't. No, not yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cause I'm not even gonna hold you. Been there, done that. And this very present moment, oh, I won't. If things don't it, it, baby, it's my life. I'ma choose to not engage and no bs that's gonna take me down the slippery yeah man, we're not doing it no we're not not having anybody take you off the square so you know you set it up to set it off and you get out you know you um leave it smoking well i got it okay all right what's your uh, one question? more yeah right of so there's always more, there's always <laughs> there's more, always more always to be known to be Continue. Go okay. Ahead. So sacrificing, right? That that act, that magic, 
because it has the ability to influence the outcomes that you experience, you know, based on, again, how much you deposit in. Now, how does that work when, you know, if some of you go and actually do research, you're going to see and come across that certain religions like Ifa practice uh, sacrificing and animal sacrificing. And I want to talk about bringing that away, shining the, that in a different light because the negative connotation of sacrifice and um, how you we we eat animals you know there's a there's a death that takes place with that for you to have a meal you get what i'm saying but people don't connect that i want to connect how something is all always being sacrificed and how the beauty and the sacrificing in the tradition and what does it do and how does it move on that level? So first of all, in any African traditional religion, it doesn't necessarily have to be African or, you know, it can be native. It can come from many, many different countries. And the higher you go up in any type of religion, you'll find that there or traditions, you'll find that there are a lot of things that are the same. Mm -hmm. You know, even in, um, you know, the Jew, Jew, Jewish tradition. Uh, see, you can wake up and go to Queer Street. Well, we're going. Bus. Hey, welcome uh, to Moments with Mo, y'all. Uh, with E.I. With E.I. So here's what I want to say. Whenever it is that we have a question about anything at all and we're moving forward, when we always go to the holy person. In the tradition of Ifa, there are different levels of the priesthood. There are different divination systems, and there are what we have called aleos, who people that go to the priests and priestesses on different levels, whether it be the ancestor level, not going to get into a lot of that right now, the Orisha level, and um, the Ifa level. Okay? So, whenever we have an idea, it takes birth within us. And it requires for us to put in a lot of time, mm -hmm. research, and sacrifice in order to get a particular outcome. Mm -hmm. So, here's how I'm going to sum it up when it comes to Ifa and sacrifice. Most people come up in traditional backgrounds, Christianity, Catholicism, Judaism, Islam, Buddhism, some Hindu, whatever it is. And we don't much have a problem with how the elite in that tradition do things. So, you know, there's at times during the holy season for Jewish people, when the rabbi and the higher priest are the ones that are responsible for doing the sacrifice. Mm -hmm. And you can check, you can Google it where it happens up there it happens up there in New York that for, you know, days at a time you can't you can't find a chicken anywhere in Brooklyn or the Bronx. <laughs> okay? Yeah. Because they are doing their thing. Mm -hmm. And the prayers are done for the families and for the for the mem members that are in, you know, that particular Jewish community. Okay? And they require for for that to happen for them. And it depends on what level of Judaism you're in, where you're an ascetic Jew or a regular Jewish person. But it's what they, you know, they look at as high holidays or New Year, you know. So, what I can say is that you don't have a problem for those people that still eat meat going to the supermarket mm -hmm. and picking out a piece of beef what kind of chicken you want, whether you want Purdue or whether you want farm raised or this, that, and other, and you get into how you're going to season it and grind it mm -hmm. and rub it down mm -hmm. and all of that kind of stuff. Exactly. <sighs> okay? And you tasting it in your mind already. And the end goal in your mind is to taste how delicious 
this meal takes it might be surrounding you know an event mm -hmm. or something like mm -hmm. that but there's an end goal mm -hmm. so with that being said we all go to different doctors mm -hmm. okay for whatever it is you go to the general practitioner he says okay look no I'm seeing X, Y, and Z is going over here. Let's say you have an ulcer. I'm going to send you to the GI, the gastrologist, mm -hmm. okay? That gastrologist is going to look in and his specialty mm -hmm. is what it is that he knows. He knows about overall, you know, being an internalist or a general practitioner, but he has studied your digestive tracts and things that tear it, how you need to repair it things that you need not eat and we also need to know our blood type we'll get back to that in another video mm -hmm. and you have to go to that specialist mm -hmm. to get a procedure done mm -hmm. okay whatever it is if he says he got to operate or whatever that's what's going to happen mm -hmm. in order for you to feel some relief about your doing mm -hmm. what your condition all right you have some spiritual problems and things that are out of order mm -hmm. and you go to the regular minister and the deacons and people on this board prayer board or whatever and everybody's praying for you and you're praying but you're not seeing any change at all mm -hmm. and if you're in touch with the media today you know that there are other levels of consciousness that are going on mm -hmm. so you start investigating to see what it is it might be the scent of you know somebody that has passed on that you don't know anything at all about but you know that there's an imbalance so you have to go to the spiritual doctor now mm -hmm. which is Babalao or Omorisha or Tata mm -hmm. okay and you go and he is able to diagnose what's going on and this is the prescription that needs to happen so let's just say, for instance, it's something that needs to be given to a particular Orisha. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's say a leg bar is going to take the situation mm -hmm. and deal with what it is. And you may, to do, may have to do something else, but you need to, to correct the situation. There has to be a sacrifice made so that there can be the birthing remember that word, mm -hmm. of a new and improved situation on the other side of you transcending, mm -hmm. transmuting, and transforming your situation. Right. No birth happens without blood. So the Babalao or the Omorisha or the Tata is trained in offering that particular bird or animal's life. And there are certain prayers that are done while that is happening so that the soul of that animal goes and, and is Makes given sense. thanks right. for giving its life. Mm -hmm. And none of it ever goes to waste. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. But the birthing of and the recipe come through that what we call Ajay and some other ingredients along with prayers that are given to the phenomena in order to create change. So people that say to me, oh, well, I don't believe in that. Okay, if it's your child, and you know that if you just clean that child off and offer that, uh, that animal to a particular phenomena, that it's gonna save your life or your, your child's, child's life, life. Right. My question becomes one, is it the cluck or your kid? And I don't mean to be harsh like that. And it doesn't mean that you have to live the road or the sacrifice of this particular type of life. But mm -hmm. you were open enough to go to a specialist, mm -hmm. a spiritual specialist mm -hmm. that can help put things in perspective for you because we're merging into some other things. So we're going to have to sacrifice our old ways of thinking. The integration is crazy. Our old ways of being. Right. Okay. Our old ways of seeing. Mm -hmm. Our old ways of hearing. Mm -hmm. It's time to retool. Right. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that's what sacrifice is. And trust me, I've seen some really funny things in this tradition. 
Okay, they're very, 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 very funny. But I'm it's, here it's, today as a result of those things because there are some things that I may not should have survived, mm-hmm. but I'm here to talk about it. But more than that, I'm here to give thanks and gratitude oh for listening gosh. and sacrificing my own ego to make sure that I'm mm. not gonna tell you it's not some bumps along the road. Oh, you know? ba- oh, oh, baby! If anything, <laughs> it just level. They level up, and and you got to keep it a hundred for for real. They just level. Well, you know, you can or not. I mean, but but it would be in your best interest, interest to to keep it up, so that way you can minimize your damage, right? Okay. Because the ass the more that you glow, Ooh. just yeah, and it's like you spirit is you're coming into wisdom that and knowledge, okay, that moves mountains. <laughs> Truly. <I laughs> like never. like wow. moves mountains through your hands. Literally. Um it's such a humbling an amazing way of life and, and there's no place I'd rather be sitting right here on this couch with this woman right here okay all right and being here with you guys and having this moment and um just creating a safe space where these conversations need to be had okay and who other better than to have them than you and you know, Lomas 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 and you and you and I and yeah. you know so buckle up there is going to be a windfall of blissings in your life and all of our lives of course my dog Milo is running through the, the tra- trash bag I'll show you guys Milo one day okay yeah. actually come here You let me show you Nick. come on Milo come here Come on, come here. Oh, he's being oh. shady now. Oh, because when I call no, no, you, no, 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 no. Mm, he okay. tried it. I don't know what he did in his last life. My love, go ahead, ahead. go but ahead. No, go on. You go come ahead. to your own agenda. Yeah, so. bye. Y'all see him? He messed it up. Like yeah. so, come back no, for no. for moments with Mo, and I'll, you yeah. know, keep coming back. One day, y'all gonna see Milo. He's the cutest though he really is isn't he adorable though and he know he is yeah, he is that's why he gets away and that's what he gets away and it's it's, it's sickening because he is a man like that's a grown man and this, this little dog i don't know what he did in his last life <laughs> but i uh we're gonna have more more special guests here yeah i'm so grateful that you joined me for this very special. Yeah, this was impromptu. He didn't give a doll any time to beat her face or anything, but but then I'm proud of what God gave me, so I just keep it moving. Okay, and okay. And then she didn't she didn't read my bio, y'all, because this says moments with Mo is real and raw mm-hmm. and authentic, and you yeah. don't need to beat the face because the face is already beat. <laughs> it's not right. Okay. It's not right. <laughs> See um, y'all later. Take care of yourselves. You know, stay on your path. You know, champions don't coach themselves. Make sure you're mm, around a good group of elders that are nurturing your soul. Mm, that are yes. Letting you find yourself. Yes. Divine yeah. self. Not the self or whoever it is you think you are. Kiki or mm-hmm. Jay Boo or mm-hmm. whatever it is. That's not what we're talking about. Right. We got to get real serious about who we are. Who and, we are. Um, come up on some things. Because... A lot of y'all somewhere else, just somewhere else. Don't allow the the world, the external world, to tell you who you are, because at that point you have loss. What because you now mm-hmm. somebody is guiding your ship any way they wish to guide it, and you're not having it. A lot of that is not in your best interest, <laughs> but it's in theirs. Yeah. So be mindful, stay vigilant. Okay, v- v- uh, did I say it right? What? <laughs> vigilant. Be, yeah. Okay. Be vigilant. Vigilant. Okay. Look. Be I'm, vigilant. Okay, y'all. Stay on. Stay on it. And we're we're together and we're here. Okay. And we love you guys. We send you guys so much love. We send you guys so much peace, so much joy, mm-hmm. happiness. We're charging your water with the essence of the divine that moves through this channel that moves through any and everybody that connects with this channel okay we are soul family we are one we return to one 
and I love you. And until next time, peace. <laughs>